The crew aboard this KC-135 Stratotanker is on its way to refuel the Air Force's newest and most technologically advanced fighter jet, the F-22 Raptor. Uh, in an area close to where we're doing our air refueling, they'll be doing their, uh, their mock fighting maneuvers and, and whatever training they require. But in order to stay up longer, uh, they usually come to us about halfway through and uh, fill up their tanks with gas. The F-22 is currently visiting Kadena Air Base on its first overseas deployment. Yeah, the first time you get to see it, you're just uh, pretty much amazed at how wide it is compared to the dimensions are similar to the F-15. But when you actually see it up close, you see that it's a big difference between the F-15 and the F-22, that the body is a lot wider. The F-22 is one of the most stable airplanes out there. It pretty much comes in and parks for what we need. Although the F-22 is an incredible piece of engineering, it still requires the support of the aged strato tanker. I think it's uh, it's remarkable that we have uh, a 50-year-old tanker refueling a two-year-old F-22. Still, the most current jet in the Air Force fleet is unable to get their mission done without the KC-135. While F-22s continue their training deployment at Kadena, training with the KC-135 prepares both aircraft for the global war on terror. Lance Corporal Todd Hunter, Kadena Air Base, Okinawa.